Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in The Final Station. Now, we have played the main game, The Final Station, made it all the way through, and what an ending that was. A couple of you guys commented on it, and I thought this was probably one of the, the better endings of a game uh, I've played in a long time. Saw it coming, but just the emotional punch you get from it right in the gut. It's not a very long game, but I felt very connected to the character, to the conductor, and then what happened to him at the end. I don't want to spoil it, so go back and check that series out. Today, we are going to be starting the DLC for the game, The Only Trader. So let's just go ahead and jump right in, and we'll see what it has to offer. I don't know much about it, so we will see what we can do. They're going to be here soon. Got to get ready and leave. All right, well, let's see. Let's see, right mount button to hit. Let's go ahead and loot. Loot that. Got a door here and a door here. Let's just check. I'm assuming this is our bathroom. Uh-oh. We already got a... Still alive. Yes, yes, he is. Let's see if we can... Ooh, we can knock him out cold. Like we got some planning, we got gas, food, and is that H2O? So some water. And there's our car. Okay. Don't forget, to pick up that gasoline. So we got water. Oh, in the upper right, I didn't even see that. We got water, we got gas. Now I'm guessing we gotta, gotta find ourselves some food. Let's see, it's stuck. Okay, let's go upstairs here. Uh oh. We got a walker, let's punch him out. Wait, do we have a baseball bat? Nope, we're just... No, we have a baseball bat, huh. Page 10. Based on these facts, I believe that the council members are just figureheads. Knowing Vermin White's intentions, I speculate that he must have a serious reason for hiding their real names. What alarms me most of all, if Vermin White himself is willing to deceive us for the sake of these people, then who are they? Huh. Interesting, interesting. Okay, Morgan's gone, and we got some rags off of him. So a med kit, very nice. Looks like we can punch our way through this wall. We can. Oops, indeed. Some more computers in here. Even if the cops raid the apartment, they won't find anything. All the data is stored on our servers. Nifty, I'll inform the boss. Ask about a raise while you're at it. Well, of course, anyone would love a nice raise. All right, out onto the balcony. Can we do anything? Nope. Okay, let's go up the next stairs. Nothing up there. We'll just check this balcony. Nope. Poke our head up here. Nothing up here. Interesting symbol on the wall. Let's see what we got behind this door. Is there anybody alive in here? Some more symbols. I think that's the symbol from the at the end, I'm not going to ruin it, but I think that's that symbol. Let's see what this book has to say. Phantom Symbols of the New Faith by Remus Woods. Okay, some robes. Uh, I'm assuming that's a bathroom of sorts in some sort of chamber or a uh, holy place. Order of the Advent. Our country went through many hardships because of an enemy invasion, or so the government told us. But if it was a hostile invasion, then why are we still alive? For fortune trials, said Remus Wood, the leader of our school, to test our faith. For our saviors came here to create a new world based on the new faith. And there's whatever that symbol is, it's showing up all over the place. All right, well, let's just check all that. Got a window to punch out. Let's just go ahead and punch that window out. There we go. Let's go down this floor. Another window to punch out. Ooh, and we missed a window down here. How, how could we do that? All right, those windows are punched out. I feel better. Let's go ahead and check here. Harry, are you home? Okay, we got the food. Anything in here? Nope, oh, there's Harry. Hello, Harry. Thank goodness you're still alive. What the hell is happening here? They're back. And it's time for us to get out of here. Are you with me? All right, Harry Green, editor. Oh, in, okay, in crafting, looks like halfway through med medicine, and or medic, excuse me, in sociality, eh, a little under halfway. So we'll go ahead and take Harry Green. Interesting, in the, in the original game, we didn't have to decide. They just showed up on our train. 
I'm guessing because we have a car, maybe it's a, a smaller number of people we can take with us. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. So let's go check what's behind this door and the tape. A lot of tape. Oh, are you home? Where's Jack at? Data transfer 100%. So he transferred the data out of there. And we got one of those quick ones, which I wonder if that was Jack, but Jack is no more. All right, well, let's make our way down to our car. Now, did we get this character's name? I don't think we've figured out this guy's name yet, have we? Huh. All right, well, let's get ourselves to that car and get out of this apartment complex here. Down we go. Any mailboxes? Nope. And that door's stuck. All right, some maps and some arrows. We got gas, food, and water. Let's go ahead and hop in our automobile. I can go now. Yes, yes, you can. All right, we got Harry Green with us. Dot, dot, dot. Could you turn the music down a little? Um, shut up, Harry. Oh, I can, I can turn it down. What have you heard about the Sandstein Shelter? Turn that music back on. I think it's only for factory employees. I don't think they'd let us in. There's nothing else nearby. What about the others? Did any of the neighbors survive? I don't think so. I saw Morgan's body. Crap. What about the secretarians from the fourth floor? I haven't seen any of them, either living or dead. Do you think they might have known about it beforehand? That's an interesting question. And fled? Don't be ridiculous. We are alive and that's all that matters. True that, true that indeed. All right, so this button's flashing, so we must be ready to go to the next map. Let's go ahead and just check out craft and heal. So, okay, we can make med packs and we can make ammo and then heal. I'm not gonna click that because I don't wanna waste any of our health packs if we don't need to use them. So let's go ahead and go to our next, uh, I guess it's not a station, our next spot. I don't know, we're in a car, so that means technically we can go just about anywhere we want. In the last one, we were kind of confined to where the train takes us, but we'll, we'll see where this uh, puts us. I'll find some supplies and move along. All right, so let's just go this way first. Got ourselves a house. Anyone home? Some TP and soap. Oop, a hatch going downstairs. Let's see what they got in their little bunker here. Okay, we got a couple guys down there. Got our trusty baseball bat. A poker table. Derby family, refrigerator, stove, couch, bed. Jones family, two cabinets, two wardrobes. All right. Can I punch my way through that wall? Nope, all right, let's just go up here really quick. Loot the fridge, non-alcoholic beer, ah, what a shame. What a shame indeed. All right, let's check upstairs. We got one guy here. Oops, let's face the right way. Drop, oh, and he crawls too, interesting. So he fell or he, he died, but um, didn't die all the way. So we gotta be cognizant of that as we smash out these windows. Got some gunpowder, cigarettes, and some pills, very nice. Let's go check the other side of the house here with our baseball bat wielding friend. Down back into the basement. Let's head upstairs here. Two of them, okay, can we can we get them through the stairs? Yep, okay, down one. Come on back, friend. And down two. All right, a window for us to smash out. And then let's head up here. We got a quick mover and one of the bigger guys. Let's see if we can, all right, down he goes. And down that one goes. Smash out some windows, some pistol, ammo, paint, and rags. Yeah, I don't think we have a gun yet? No, we don't have a gun yet. So I'm, I'm assuming we'll find one here sooner rather than later. All right, let's get these little guys here. All right, and smashy smashy, both they go away. 
some jars. We'll go down this ladder here into the sewer, and I'm guessing we can't quite jump up there. But we can open this door here. All right, one of the guys that'll fall, and then we'll have to beat when he's on the ground. Okay, he's gone. Some boxes. That looks like a sword or something there. All right, oops, two guys here. We'll beat these guys up. Nice. All right, and away we go. Can of gas. Oh, okay, so it looks like each level we have to find gas, food, and water to continue on. Open this hatch here. Oh, something up there. Let's loot this body. So we'll need to go back out and check that house because I don't think we can get up. It stinks in here. Cough. All right, let's open the sewer here. Smashy, smashy that guy. The road has collapsed, damn it. Okay, so under the map. Let us head back this way and then we'll go loot this house up here. So while we're early in and haven't gotten too much of the background story, I want everyone to, to comment what they think is going to happen. Like I said, the, when we played the main campaign, there was, um, there, was a, there was some decent plot. I don't know if I'd quite call it a twist at the end. Like I said, we kind of saw it coming, but just guess. Ooh, is that gold? That might be some gold. Anyways, comment on down below what you think is going to happen in this one. The one thing I did look up was just playtime. This is a little bit shorter than the main one. Uh, oops, I do want to... Okay, I guess you can fall off there. Um, so I think it'll be not as many episodes, but I think it'll be just as good. We'll get, get some good story out of this. And it'll be, be fun to see how they expand the world. Because um, I felt like after playing the main story, I had a lot of questions that weren't fully explained throughout the game. And a couple of you voiced that as well, that we weren't quite sure uh, of the story. Oh, there's a window up there and I can't quite break it. Eh, oh well. Um, there was just a few things we thought could have been explained better or would have liked to seen come back around. Um, or like when we were in the train, we couldn't always read the conversation because we were running to get food or medicine or running to do uh, a repair. And sometimes that conversation would jump around. And I, I agree if you guys just would have been a little easier for everyone involved if it would have uh, made those conversations a lot simpler to read. All right, we got our water bottle. Okay, we got some more zombies in here we can beat up okay down two so far and all right there we go looks like we're in a underground movie theater oh it's a movie theater yeah all right can we go down this ladder ah okay what do you got friend hello sir please wait please wait for what please take me with you hmm please i can't get out of here by myself Ah, okay, so we have to decide, do we take Harry, our friend, or Jesse Michael, a projectionist? So he's got higher crafting, higher medic, and just a little bit lower on the sociality side. Hmm, who do we take? Who do we take? Well, I'm going to leave you because I guess we know Harry. So I'm sorry, dude, but I'm going to leave you here for now. I don't know if I can come back and save you, but you're, you're on your own for a little bit. Current show, Return of Guardian of the Guardian 2, The Last Battle. Drama sci-fi, directed by Alan Creed, 142 minutes. Uh-oh, an explodey barrel. Let's uh, open this door. And I guess let's go up here. I don't know what that explodey barrel's for. We might have to come back and get it. All right, that's closed there. Let's go check out whatever we got here. So we're still looking for some food. Oops. Let's knock this guy out. And down he goes. All right, open up oh, quite a few people in here. See that explodey barrel would have been perfect right there. We could have taken all three of these guys out at the same time. There's our food. We'll pick that up. And this is a nice place. It is a nice place. All right, that was a short little thing, but we got our food, gas, and water. But we're going to leave that projectionist, Michael, and stay with um, whoever we have in our car. So let's continue on we still don't have a gun but at least we got four pistol rounds i guess we can try and throw them really fast at any of these zombies harry green that's his name that's who was with us how did everything go well i left someone behind in order to save you well we've got food and water for the road sparkling water Ooh, fancy are you being fussy I'll toss you out of the goddamn car. Mmm. Yeah, you show him. Show him who's boss. 
Come on. Listen, we're getting close to the factory. I know. Don't want to get back there, huh? No, but I'm more worried about the shelter. I do like our car. I like it's kind of muscly. If they locked it, we're going to have to drink, not just sparkling water. Huh, I don't know what he's implying there, guys. What do you think he's implying? Hmm, maybe, but maybe something worse. The Nuck Shelter is only near Ristol. Oh, we know Ristol. We've been there. Perry. All right, let's go ahead and pull into the, or drive in, I guess, to our next next location and see what it has to offer us. Have you commented on down below yet and what you think is going to happen, guys? We're, we're already two maps in. Now's your time to, to let me know what you think is going to happen so we, you don't get missed. All right, evacuation route signs. Got some, um, the entrance to the shelter should be around here somewhere. All right, well, let's go see if we can find it. Can't go into those sewers there. This looks like it's it. All right, we went through a metal detector of sorts. Uh, all right, nothing to read there. Can't go down there. It says down. I wonder if there's a switch or something we have to throw. All right, some workstations. All right, file 274, name Amanda Higgs, age 32, IQ 154, overall condition 8 out of 10, sustainability for testing 5 out of 10, level of commitment 7 out of 10, nope, pregnant. Ooh, I wonder if the government was looking into people for the shelter. File 251, name Roger Reynolds, age 43, IQ 142, overall condition 7 out of 10, sustainability or suitability for testing 8 out of 10, level of commitment 2 out of 10. File 284, name Henry Willow, age 34, IQ 122, overall condition 6 out of 10. Suitability for testing 9 in town, commitment 6 out of 10. Note needs ro lo yeah, relocation and nothing on desk 4. Let's see what we got up here. Just some more paperwork, it seems like. Nothing to loot. Let's check this out. Some dials and maps and things anything in here nothing in here just lots and lots of papers i'm assuming these are files on everyone in the area all right we've found fewer fully compatible specimens that specimens than we anticipated send all specimens with a coefficient of less than seven to the l labs bunker you can keep the specimens with higher coefficients right now but the visitation hasn't started yet we don't know if it will happen at all i don't care about the visitation Take them to the shelter and close it. I'll expect the initial experiment results within a week. Okay, this explains, explains some stuff. We've been to there. We've been to El Ab's bunker. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The government's doing shady stuff. We got some of these guys to punch out. Oops, we got hit there. All right, he went down. Let's see what we got over here. I used to work here. The boss's office should be nearby. All right, ladder down and a ladder up. Uh-oh, god damn, the boss is still here, huh? Peter, is it you? Dot, 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 hey boss. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get to the shelter. Ah, the shelter. What? Nothing. All right, do we take Bill Jerome, factory director, high on crafting but low on everything else, or do we stay with... Harry, I think we're staying with you, man. You, uh, you are our ride and die, our first person we met. Okay, we got another guy here. We need to, um beat up and down he goes we got some clothing and pistol ammo but still no pistol huh <sighs> I'd like to find one soon time cards there all right more stuff over here can't let's go down some lockers to loot some workwear and found our bottle of water let's go take a peek over here electrum 42 bucks huh I don't know what oh no we talked about electrum in in the main game that was the the mineral they were pulling out of um oh i forgot what the map was called but they're pulling it out of somewhere Ooh, we got our explodey friend one of the little guys the big guy and we got an explodey barrel so let's uh let's go ahead and use this and oops okay at least we triggered him and he should blow up here any second great knocked out a lot of them oops Jeez, louise that guy came out of nowhere well, good news is we got a health kit and we might have to use that here in a second. So let's uh, let's go over here. We got a quick mover. Beat him up. Perfect. Two stairs. Ooh, I see a window to bust. 
Nothing in here, but we got a hatch down. Let's go up and check this room. Uh, I have a night shift tonight, so I'll try to hide the biggest chunk of Electrum in the warehouse between the boxes. Your job will be to find it and get it out of the facility without getting spotted. Let's meet at Martin's place and start looking for a buyer. Hmm, well, they didn't quite get to steal it, but we were able to find it ourselves and make, what was it, 42 bucks off that? More pistol ammo, but still no pistol for us to use. Let's go ahead and smash these guys up. All right, and down he goes. Down in the creepy dark basement. There's our can of gas, perfect. I must be getting close. Close to what? Oh, the shelter, duh. Heck, ooh, that elevator looks a little, um, um, closed. What the hell, or why the hell is it locked? F, son of a B. What the frickity frack, this is BS, dot, dot, dot. So it looks like they closed it on some people that were trying to get in. Can I smash my way through here? Nope. All right. Oh, that's what that was, that down. That's that elevator. Okay, I see. All right, let's see what we got over here. Nothing? All right, up we go. Open this hatch here. So now we need to go find some food over on this side of the map. I'll check here first. Well, we actually went that way first, so oops. Ah, there we go. We got the revolver. This can be useful. Let's go ahead and load her up. Man, we should, definitely should have went this way first. We would have been rocking our pistol here sooner. All right, some pistol ammo, rags, old book. A little bit of everything in here, huh? Some more Electrum. Uh-oh, we got some of the shielded guys here. Let's knock his helmet off. Let's see if we can... Nope, okay, we're going to have to shoot you in the head. Sorry there, friend. Down you go. The laboratory. Knock your helmet off, shoot you in the head. Beautiful. All right, let's go check up here. See if we can loot anything. Ah, there's our food and a note. Michael, a new batch of Electrum has arrived as usual. Adam has given us some leftover bits and pieces rather than pure Electrum. Does he want us to conduct experiments or dig through trash? Please talk to him. If he doesn't want to do things the right way, there are other more promising research projects for us. Well, smash that window here, grab our food. So we got our three things. Let's just go explore the other side of this laboratory and then we'll head back to our car. Open this door here. All right, we'll smash these guys. I mean, we've gotten pretty good at using the baseball bat. Oops. So down they go. Let's go ahead and heal up here. There we go. Okay, let's check this room up here. A window to be smashed, I see that. And then, any news? Hello, Adam. We are able to achieve several new states of Electrum by exposing it to Herman's Photon Oscillator. I'm afraid we couldn't find any consistent patterns in those alterations. Your goal is to enhance the effects of the crystal. I don't care about anything else. I understand, but we can't find a unified solution that quickly. It's a shame you don't understand how serious all this is. I'll give you one more day. If you don't have any results for me by then, you're fired. Mmm. Well, it probably didn't matter since the uh, second visitation started. Okay, in the decontamination room, let's go down here. Uh, ooh. Okay, we've never seen this guy before. Looks like he's some sort of acid spitter. Let's, um... Yep, he spits acid. But we were able to put him down. What is this? Okay, he was empty there. And I did some headshots and he didn't drop as quickly as I would have liked. All right, let's go ahead and shoot the little one and we can punch the rest of these guys out. Uh, ooh, they hit us, okay. Reload here. Uh, comments on the manual. Note, the following based on current available information, extracting energy from a crystal at a constant rate is essentially safe. For example, the way the crystal is used in Ristol which we know about. However, attempts to suddenly extract a large amount of energy may result in instability. Please inform the blacksmith and his engineers. Okay, they're, they're wrapping back to some things that we've, we've seen and dealt with. Uh, report, the efficient, or the effect of Herman's photon oscillator on Electrum is unpredictable and creates a new link every time. Two, the only exception are impulses of 421 key kev uh, which destroy the bonds between the Electrum particles. Hmm. 
Interesting, interesting. Through another decontamination, up through here and out the hatch. I don't think we missed everything and we got everything we need to go ahead and take off. Well, we tried to make it to the factory shelter, but as we saw, that was closed. So we will continue on in the next episode with our friend here. Did we get his name? I don't think we got a name here. Let me know in the comments down below about his name if I missed it. Obviously, like the video if you've been enjoying the content of the Final Station DLC, the uh, the only traitor. Um, it's, I think we're going to find out some stuff. I think it's going to answer some questions. I'm glad there's a DLC, and I'm glad we're playing it. I'm glad you guys are here. So if you want to see all this great content, content on time in an orderly fashion don't forget to like excuse me subscribe to tooth and scrubs gaming so you get it like i said on time and in an orderly fashion thank you so much for coming out today and we'll see you in the next the final station video